Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. In this part, we're going to take on the Elite Four, but first, let's teach the team their much-needed moves. Okay, let's see here. I grabbed Ice Beam for Dragonite. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I didn't realize I had two of those. Neat. And Clefabulous gets Hyper Beam. In exchange for Metronome. And Thunderbolt for Starmie. Okay. In exchange for Swift. And so... Off screen, I went and gathered up. I wanted to get a bit more money, and that, so in the process, I leveled up the crew just a bit more. Um, so it cuz just, just in case. I think we're gonna be mostly fine, but you never know. I wanna see something. I don't think so. Okay, we have Ethers. Don't know if I'll need them, but you never know. And we have some Max Ethers, and I did see an Elixir here. Okay, cool. Well, let's quickly change the lineup. Alright, so the first up is Lorelei. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy p p p Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha 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 ha! Are you ready? It's kind of nice with the remix. They gave them the gym leader battle th theme rather than just the basic old trainer battle. Yeah, like they did it in Gen 1. So, her team in every version has, is, mo is mostly unchanged. She opens up with Dugong, who usually will try to use Rest right away, or Headbutt. Sometimes, sometimes Ar Aurora Beam. I did not think uh, that Dugong would, live, would survive that. Okay, cool. Fascinating. Dugong is bulky today. Okay. Rude. Whatever. Actually, this is the most I've ever seen this dugong do. Like in any game I've ever played that involves the Kento region. Oh boy, Lapras. Right away. So Lapras is usually Lorelei's ace. Uh, 
for those of you who don't know, Lapras is actually a pretty good water and ice Pokemon with pretty good bulk. And that. Okay. Oops. I'm expecting to receive a big hit from this, but... Okay, I was expecting Ice Beam. Off-screen, I gave Marluxia the leftovers. Because he's our ace. Alright, I guess we'll gamble. Okay. And there it is. Come on, Marluxia, you're better than this. Hmm, yeah, I just find this genuinely interesting. Because she's never done this well. Bring out Clefabulous. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck this. Tried our new move. <laughs> okay, that's Dugong, Lapras, and Slowbro, who all, like, survived with literally just a sliver of health. <laughs> Why would you use that? <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny. Also because you had like a splinter of health left and you resist that, so why not? A cloister. Now cloisters have really good physical defense. I believe in Gen 1 they had the best physical defense of every Pokemon in those games. But their special defense is pfft. Sure, let's have a bit of fun. Okay, good. Cloister and Jinx did not survive on splinters of health. Things shouldn't be this way. Do you have some money? You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only you got a taste of 
the Pokemon Leech power. Okay. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Pyraga, I will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo ha! So, and here we have Bruno, a fighting type user with two rock types that could have easily been replaced. That could have easily been replaced by Polyrath and Primate. Next up is Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. So the Hitmons. I don't believe I mentioned this earlier. But Hit, no, I did actually. But just as a friendly reminder, Hitmonchan is the defensive of these two Hitmons. He also learns the punches, though. My, though as the games would go on, they can both learn kicks and punches. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Next up is Hitmonlee. He's the attacker of the two. His gimmick is to use high jump kick, in this case, mega kick. But if he used jump kick or high jump kick, assuming he has them in these games, he uh, if he missed, he'd go flying and hit the wall and hurt himself. for an onyx. I'm going to use this onyx to my advantage. Alright, cool. However, if you come here for round two... I don't recall, but I do know one of his Onyx evolves, and I don't recall, and I don't think he replaces the other. I think, no, he might. We, well, we might see the round, round two with the Elite Four, uh, if, there, if there's enough interest for it. But I'll probably be, I'm definitely going to be taking a break from this Let's Play after after the next part. <laughs> Fantastic. How could, how could I, I, I lose? Here's some money. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. And he looks away in shame. Because that's all he knows is shame. Um, yeah, sure, girl, let's use these. Gets rid of them, so. Sorry about that. Moving on. 
I am Magatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff, he was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. The Pokemon are for battling. Pyraga, I shall show you how a real trainer battles. All right, so we now we have Agatha. She uh, specializes in ghosts in air in air quotes there. Mostly because every Pokemon she has in her team is poison type. Take this. Come on, Clefabulous. Excellent work. Ah, of course. They just had to live. Well, this is nice to see um, a Clefable fight in shadow. Uh, now we might miss. Assuming we don't hit ourselves. Okay, that's good. Alright, so now we got Golbat. doesn't really bother me. He's about to use Arabok. Okay. He's screwed. Well, let's gotta have a bit of fun. Everyone's gotta at least get involved in the battle somehow. Except for apparently our Flareon. Arbok. Arbok gets an earthquake. This Leaf Horror is doing really good with having their Pokemon sur surviving attacks and at red health. Whoa. I've never seen Slash fail that bad on, on something. Okay, that was interesting. And that was Haunter. And now for the final of the Gengars. Alright. This Gengar's gimmick is to use Hypnosis followed by Dream Eater. Though in this case, never mind. She anticipated that, clearly. Thanks for uh, the effort, 
visit Sune. Uh, let's see here. Sure, let's give it a go. Alright, so now that Gengar tries hypnosis again, finally. Oh yeah, that's right. Holy crap, I'm being stupid. Okay, that helps. I cut its attack. Excellent work, T. Ostra. Oh my, you're something special. Uh, the child? Here, have some money. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, old child. I have to heal up the party. Well, I'm glad the League is not being a bunch of pushovers. Could have been a boring part if they were. Heal up. Ah, I've heard about you, Pyraga. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Pyraga. So, here we have Lance. Uh, a, a dragon trainer. Yes, that'll... Yes, that'll stick. Um, he opens up with uh, Gyarados. We know, we all know how great the Gyarados can be, but they have a major weakness to electricity. So we don't have to worry about him no more. Time to use. It's time to use our Dragonite. So Argarok can use Dragon Claw these bastards. One Dragonair down. And in three years from now, his Dragonair, his two Dragonairs here would evolve, and then all of his Pokemon would drop down in levels. So his Ace, his Dragonite versus Ar 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 Argarok, our Dragonite. Um, because he's part flying. And he survived that. Fortunately for himself, he locked himself in. He locked himself into that attack, so we can easily take. We can t t t t 
take him down without issue. Now is Aerodactyl, who is the fastest in his party, I believe. Yep. And he's also super weak to ice attacks, but he survived. Alright, Dragonite's gonna go down. And there we go, that's Lance. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Here, have some money. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Pyraga. You are now the Pokemon League ch ch champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is... Ass. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real... Pokemon League champion. Alright, so before we... Do that, now we gotta... Heal the, the team again. Might as well just get everyone back... Back to full health for the sake of this. There we go. Why not? Hey, here we go. Hey, Pyraga! I was looking forward to seeing you, Pyraga. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that could be any... Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League ch ch champion. Pyraga, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Eh. So here we have our rival. Ass. With his Pidgeot. And we're going up against it with our Venusaur. Not because I don't care for his gimmicks. Looks like it's going to be a four hit. No, for the walls, let's try. Okay, we tried. And that should do it. Take care, bird. And we have his Alakazam, his lowest level.
I'm actually managed to survive that. It's also not often that the rival does that. Oh yeah, that's right, Reflect is up. He might actually take Mr. Rossetti out. Nope, never mind. Sorry, Rossetti had a lot to say to that to that Al to that Alakazam. Now we have his executor. Go ahead. My Flareon uh, is more is physically stronger anyway. But that's because Flareons are. And Executor is out. Right on. I should settle that. And for Gyarados, huh? Dragon Rage at this level? Okay. Oh, excellent. And Argrok did it, did his job. Now for Mizutsune to deal to do hers. do it and there we go and that's the champion no that can't be you beat me at my best after all that work to become the league champ my reign is over already that it's not fair here have some money why why did I lose I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new 
Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Hi, Roger. So, you won. Sincerely. Sincerely. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Haruga, you've come of age. Ass, I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd be, be beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Ass, do you n understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Haruga, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Paraga, come with me. Congratulations, Paraga. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Pyraga, you've worked hard to become the new league champion. Congratulations, Pyraga. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And there we go. We've finally done it. Marluxia. Clefabulous. Mr. Rossetti. Teostra. Mizutsune. And, and Ardrock. Yeah, we just got one more thing we gotta do. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we gotta do it. Excellent. So, this is definitely one of my f more favorite of the Pokemon games. Just can always go back to Kanto and have a good time. And I do hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I made, did m m making it. But we're not quite done yet. In the next part, we are going to go and face off and catch Mewtwo. Or at least try. Who knows how long that will actually take? If any, if if if, if the bird, if the legendary birds are anything to go by, am I right? <laughs> so I'll leave you all to it. You all take care, and ha and I will see you all in the next part.